Today, the post lady brought me a very big box. Now, I could try to keep you in suspense about what exactly is in this very big box, but I imagine you've seen the title of the video, and so you already know. It is, of course, another type of box. A cigar box guitar. I bought this online just a few days ago from cigar box guitar maker Mr Stump, and here it is. I thought it might be fun for us to open it together and take a look. This is the very first cigar box guitar that I've ever owned, so I'm excited to see it. I had better point out now that I have never played a cigar box guitar before, so if you're expecting me to whip this out of the wrappings and knock out a quick Van Halen-esque solo, you'll be disappointed because that's not happening. Though I will try to practice a bit of something so that I can play you a bit of something and you can at least get a rough idea of what the guitar sounds like. So with all that and more to look forward to, let's get it open. Recycled packaging. Brilliant. I'm all for it. Great for the planet and a treasure trove of mystery. Well, chocolate bar wrappers and egg boxes, anyway. In amongst the wrappers and egg boxes, I discovered an envelope. Best wishes, Mr Stump. Thanks, Mr Stump. Not someone's long lost love letters, but a package of things for the guitar. So there's a little information leaflet to get me started. Definitely going to be needing that. And a CD, it's called Play Cigar Box Slide Guitar. A little bit of information about Mr Stump. And I think there's, there's a plaque in there and I think that's going to be a slide. Actually, Mr Stump has included two different thicknesses of plaque, a finer one and a much thicker one, as well as the glass slide. That's really cool, everything is included to get started. Hopefully somewhere in here as well there might even be a guitar. Here we go, tantalising first glimpses through the bubble wrap. It's looking good. It's looking very good. Right, let's come and sit at the table like civilised people. We can have a closer look. So I've never had a cigar box guitar before, like I've said already. Um, so I didn't really know what to look for in choosing one. So in the end, I just kind of went for the most appealing design. You can see on this one, it's got this fabulous East Coast Live Delta Deep design with the little cabin and a chap there with his guitar. Something that is completely new to me is that this is fretless. On the camera, it probably looks like there are frets, but they're actually just inked on or I don't know if they might be wood burnt on, there's no actual fret there, the neck is completely smooth. So it's going to be more about learning exactly where I have to put my fingers rather than relying on frets I think. Something that was unexpected to me is there is an old Victorian big penny on the bottom which is really cool. Um, there's the jack for the amp and should we have a look at the back? The back is my favourite bit. It's only rock and roll, but we like it. How cool is that? So this is made out of an old recycled box. I think it might actually be an actual cigar box. It says Havana Blend on it. Um, and it is plywood. I don't know if the neck might be pine by the look of it. Um, three string. It has standard tuning pegs. The nut and the bridge are both made out of 
faults, as is pretty standard, I think, in the world of uh, cigar box guitars. Something that strikes me is the height of the action. That is, the distance between the strings and the neck. It's much larger than anything I've attempted to play before, so maybe that's going to prove to be a bit of a workout for my fingers. Maybe it's because this instrument is aimed predominantly at being played with a slide. The short scale neck and headstock are made from one continuous piece of wood. The finish isn't shiny, polished perfection, but that's definitely not what I wanted from a cigar box guitar. It is all nicely smoothed off though, so definitely no worries about splinters. The guitar feels compact, slim and lightweight. And as a compact, slim and lightweight kind of person, I think that's going to suit me just fine. Here's that old Victorian penny. I don't know if this sort of thing is a traditional cigar box style ornament or whatnot, but I hope Queen Victoria brings me luck with my playing. I don't smoke, but I can appreciate the cigar boxes. There's the standard quarter inch jack, and also in there somewhere is a piezo pickup. All that lovely artwork on the front and the back of the guitar has been hand printed onto the box. And it looks great! So we've established the guitar looks fantastic, I am so pleased with it, but of course now we want to hear how it sounds. And that's where things get a little bit cruel for me. Um, I've got to go to work now. In fact, I'm running late already, so I really do have to go. So I'm going to have to wait until tomorrow to try playing this, which doesn't matter to you. Tomorrow's going to be here in a matter of seconds. But for me, it's going to be a long night. I'm back from work, it is the next day, and it is finally time to try to give the guitar a play. This wouldn't be a proper unboxing demonstration without a bit of a demonstration, would it? Problem is, this is my first cigar box guitar, and my first three string guitar, and I'm also definitely not a brilliant six string guitarist, I'm really only just getting started with that too. But I have been watching a load of tutorials on YouTube this morning about getting some basics for beginners started on this thing so I'm going to try to play something basic to at least give you a bit of a rough idea of what the instrument sounds like. So I've got all tuned up and I'm raring to go so I'm going to have a bit of a practice and hopefully I'll have a bit of something to play for you at the end of my practice. I've never used a slide before and um, so it's going to be a morning of new experiences. The amp I'm running through, by the way, is just a cheap and cheerful acoustic amp. Um, everything's completely clean on there. So I'm going to have a practice and hopefully get back to you with something. Just in case you can't tell from my confused face, I really don't know what to do with the slide. And it's going to take a bit of figuring out. repetition and T is going to be the key.
after a while, I decided to throw a metronome at it. Not literally. now, not including tea breaks, um, and I think I'm going to have to call it a day pretty soon because I have actual bruises forming from the slide. Um, I think it is the wrong size of slide. I've looked on the internet and everybody's fingers seem to pop out of the top of the slide so that you can have it sitting on this knuckle so that you can still bend your finger, but the slide even right down to the palm of my hand more than covers my finger, so right. Um, Time to display my hour and a half's work. after an hour and a half. Um, guitars and I are not natural friends, even though I do love them. Um, they don't always love me back. In all seriousness though, I am really chuffed to have knocked out my first blues riff and I am really pleased with my new guitar. Um, I have left links, as I said earlier, to the tutorial video that I got that riff from and to Mr Stomp, where I bought the guitar from, in the description below, so do go and check them out if you fancy a bit of cigar box guitar action for yourself. To me, the guitar feels like everything it should be. It feels like it's full of homespun character. I love the sound of it. It's so resonant. I can't quite believe all this sound is coming from this little guitar. Um, in about an hour and a half of playing. I did have to retune a couple of times, but I think that's pretty normal. The strings are new, the instrument's new. I guess as it gets played in a bit more, then everything will settle down and it won't need retuning so often. Um, I've got a ton to learn. I'm making tons of horrible squeaky noises with the slide. I need to find out if there are different sizes of slide that might fit my hand a little bit better at the moment. Um, I'm gonna have to call it a day because my hand is hurting from the bottom of the slide quite a lot. But apart from that, I'm really eager to carry on with the cigar box guitar. And if you would like to hear more from this one in particular in the future, hopefully when I've learned to play it a bit better, then do give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I make a video every single week. Usually this channel is mostly about the recorder, which is my first instrument love, but I do also have lots of other explorations into other instruments as well. And sometimes I like to put them all together and try to make music. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again next time. Bye. Thank you.